Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Okay, I agree with uh, T1000 when he mentioned that this uh, nanosecond circuit is not really a nanosecond circuit but a uh, ZVS or a Mozilla circuit with the two MOSFETs and uh, just driving uh, the coil. So I used my old Mozilla circuit which I still had and I put a uh, capacitor here 2 times 2.2 microfarad meaning in series meaning 1.1 microfarad capacitor and I built this uh, this coil the way it was presented in the uh, video uh, 2 times 5 turns 5 turns blue 5 turns brown and the middle connection uh, I used my large, largest former which is about 12.5 uh, cm wide and uh, I cannot measure the inductance because my meter will not show it accurately but I calculated it to be something like 1919 micro Henry okay so I have only this uh, circuit connected to my Mozilla I have put my bench power supply to 24 volts and I have current limited to 2 amps and I have hooked uh, two probes to the boat drains so we can see the output of the boat MOSFETs which are going into the uh, coil and uh, let me show you what happens I will connect it now and these are the signals uh, yellow is uh, one drain and blue is the other drain uh, first of all you can see that there is no square wave we have nice sine wave halves and the frequency is uh, 34 kilohertz voltage is something like uh, 30 watts uh, 80 volts and this is the voltage current being drawn from the power supply so we are not limiting the current at the moment it's almost 1 amp at 24 volts so one thing that is to be seen is that uh, we have no square wave signal there sine wave and the frequency is uh, 34 kilohertz which is much lower than the what was it 113 kilohertz shown before so that was one of the main differences that I saw the first One thing I notice is that my cap are getting fairly warm, 50 degrees. These are the only things getting hot. The MOSFET stays cool, 26 degrees and uh, the Zenas also 30. But these uh, caps get fairly warm 50 degrees and that surprises me okay I have now this uh, this other coil which I can insert which is 8080 turns 2 times 40 it measures 75 micro Henry and I calculate to have uh, to put something like what was it uh, 200 uh, nanofarad here to get also to this 34 kilohertz another calculation I made is that uh, if I decrease this 1.1 microfarad to 800 nanos it's still hot I will get to the 40 kilohertz 
So I think I will change this capacitor for a 800 nanofarad to see if it indeed gets into resonance with this coil of about 40 kilohertz. Okay, I changed the capacitor for a uh, 648 nanofarad plus a 100, so I have almost 800 nanofarad here. And we can see that the frequency has incre uh, increased till about uh, 41, almost 42 kilohertz. But we still have square wa uh, sine wave signals. Checking on the capacitor, which are stay fairly cool now. Slightly elevated, 31 degrees Celsius, but not going to the 51, 50. I guess these are some better capacitors for the job. Okay, I will now try to uh, insert this coil and to hook up some lamps to see what's happening. Okay, I've inserted the uh, inner coil. And I've connected it to a uh, 220 volts 60 60 watts bulb. And as I said before, it's only the coil 75 micro Henry, there's no capacitor yet, so we are not really in resonance. We'll connect the 24 volts. We can see. We still have the 42 kilohertz, 84 volts on both sides. Uh, input is 800 milliamps. And we can see the bulb is slightly lit. So I'm now trying to get uh, this coil into resonance at uh, 42 kilohertz which uh, should be done by adding something like 211 some less I guess uh, nanofarad so I have to get some uh, some capacitors there okay so I added a uh, 226 nanofarad cap across uh, the coil to get it in resonance but there's no visible increase in light the bulb is still the same uh, I have hooked up a probe across the output of the coil and this is the signal uh, we have 120 volt peak to peak 45 kilohertz if I now remove the uh, capacitor, which is now, you can see that the frequency goes back to the 2 kHz it was. So with the cap we increase the frequency of the whole system and uh, we lower the We lower the voltage. Okay, so next one, next thing I tried was a uh, 100 nanofarad cap. Just because I have it, not because it's logical to do. And you can see that when I add this capacitor, if I can get it right. and permanent it's getting warm also I can feel it already you can see the bulb is much brighter and we can see that the signal is uh, 310 volts the frequency is more decreased so we are now approaching I guess more resonance of the system but we can see we are now pulling more volts and we have even uh, the current limiter activated 
it's uh, from uh, 24 volts down to 18, 19 volts, 2 amps. And the cap is really hot. So I'm not sure, not sure why with this 100 nanofarad cap I get uh, resonance because according to the calculator it's nowhere near perhaps the whole system is uh, influencing the inductance or whatever. So when I parallel uh, 100 nanofarad I get some resonance but the cap gets really hot uh, although this one is rated uh, 600 volts and we only have 300 volts peak to peak so it should not be getting hot but uh, Okay, well these are my first uh, test with this uh, system. Not sure why there is mentioning a, of a nanosecond pulser or whatever. Because it's not and uh, it looks like we have some uh, some normal uh, inverter working 24 volts 2 amps in resonance getting to about uh, well what was it 30 volts 30 watts 50 40 watts output on the bulb okay thank you for watching